Hello, trivia lovers, and welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Mr. Quizter. Today's theme is, can you name it? You'll see 10 common things with four options for each. Only one option is correct, and I know this because I made up the other three. Don't miss the bonus question right after question number 10. Here we go. Question number one. What do we call a belt for a sword worn over one shoulder and reaching down to the opposite hip? Is it Sherford, Mergain, Baldrick, or Grandor? The answer is Baldrick. Question two. What is the name for a small cloth placed over the backs or arms of chairs or the head of a sofa? Is it Slipper Lily, Antimacassar, Couvertasse, or Floppy Doodle? The answer is Antimacassar. Question three. What is the name for the metal ring that joins the main body of a pencil to the eraser on top? Is it spintle, trash, ferrule, or gazinta? The answer is ferrule. Question four. What name has been given to describe the sound of rustling leaves? Is it crinsel, sathacelic, citherism, or brackling? The answer is Scytherism. Question number five. What do we call the remnant of unburnt tobacco that is knocked out of a pipe after smoking? Is it Bunkle, Dottle, Flithery, or Glonk? The answer is Dottle. Question six. What is the metal coil or clip called which is used to hold a cork in place on a champagne bottle? Is it spatzel, tishore, valdrick, or a graph? The answer is a graph. Question seven. What is the name for the symbol you see in the image often called the and sign? Is it plender, ampersand, zornfluss, or bandersol? The answer is ampersand. Question number eight. What do we call a wooden strip separating panes of glass in a window frame and holding them in place? Is it hockle, muntin, spilt, or gent? The answer is muntin. Question nine. What is the name for the tip of your middle finger? Is it astacel, dactylion, Digitalis or milieu? The answer is dactylion. Here comes question number 10, followed by your bonus question. If you've enjoyed this quiz and you learned even one new fact, please take a moment to hit the like button. Question number 10. Which word describes the involuntary and repetitive use of foul language, often a symptom of Tourette syndrome? Is it brachere? Fungilingua, coprolalia, or sacor? The answer is coprolalia. And here is your bonus question. You'll find the answer at the bottom of the video description. Before you go, let me know your score in the comments and click on one of these for your next quiz. What is the term for the semicircular whitish area at the base of a fingernail?